Hey everybody, welcome back to Singularity of the Day. Today's question comes on the road from Bozeman, Montana. What we're taking a look at is the fiber that we may have in a plastic injection mold. So as you can see here, taking a look at the results, we're able to view the skin layer fiber orientation, the core layer fiber orientation, and the average. So hopefully this helps you get um, a good understanding of the product quality that you're going to get and understanding the orientation of the fibers that are going to be in that plastic injection mold. But how do we account for this? Uh, the question was raised of, well, we're doing a couple experimental things. Maybe we're adding some fiber to plastics that normally don't have fiber or modifying the amount of fiber into other plastics, other polymers. Well, SolidWorks Plastics makes this pretty easy. When we specify a polymer, we can use the database to control, well, what right, plastic we're going to use with this analysis. You know, taking a look at a generic material, uh, we can go to the polymer material parameters. Uh, scrolling down to percent fiber, we can see here it's null. So if we specify a polymer like that, we'll take a look at our fill settings. This is where, based on that polymer definition, our fiber orientation calculation is off by default. Well, if we wanted to add any fiber, I can enable that checkbox and specify my fiber percentage in weight or volume. But what if we go to another material that has fiber in it by default? Well, let's take a look at some of the PBTs here. And coming back to that polymer material parameters, Scrolling down to percent fiber, you can see here the default amount is 20. Well, sure enough, when I click OK and specify that parameter that, uh, for the polymer, come back into our fill settings, and indeed, on by default is our fiber orientation calculation. Now, again, I can modify this from here to really control that fiber percentage if I need to, to, again, really understand what's going to happen when we run this analysis and help predict that product quality. Taking a look at that skin layer, the core layer, and the average fiber orientation. So hopefully this helps you improve your product quality, especially if you're getting into any fiber, mixing in with your plastics, and happy analysis.